Today we're going to compare two of the same model mountain bike separated by over a decade of innovation. Today we're comparing Doug Higley's 2009 Santa Cruz Tallboy, one of the first of its kind full suspension 29ers. And because this video is sponsored by the Pros Closet, we get to compare this against a 2020 Santa Cruz Tallboy. Oh, there's going to be some differences. Doug, is, is this bike vintage? <laughs> it's about as vintage as they get and still work. <laughs> the new Tallboy has 2.6s and the old Tallboy has 2.3s. Same tire pressure. 20 to 25 PSI. Biggest change between these two bikes is that Doug's bike, the 09 model, has a five degree steeper head tube than this one which increases the wheelbase on this bike to 17 centimeters longer. So the ride between these two is, is gonna be quite different. It's like a chopper versus a sports bike. You're gonna be terrified when you get on this bike descending. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm feeling a little fish out of water here. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this thing and then promptly switch to another bike. But climbing, it definitely sticks where you put it. After a brisk 18 minutes of climb suffering, my main takeaway is this bike sure does feel upright. Guess that's why they call it a tall boy. Oh, and I should know, we put Ron on the Ibis for today's adventure. All right, I'm starting to get my land legs a little bit. Getting familiar with this bike. Feels good. It's a little over bike for me, but I think it actually fits quite well in this terrain. This guy has 130 millimeters of suspension in the front and 120 in the rear. What of Will? Yeah. Chippy Martindale for the mayor of Stoke, Oklahoma City. I will put a purple Stokes EM in every pot. Today's food choice is Bavarian bread, smoked salmon with a little cottage cheese and arugula. It sounds weird, it tastes delicious, and it doesn't stick together. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. Wet and wild. Pretty rocky terrain here, maybe a little bit more than I'm used to. But this 2020 Tallboy is giving me a little bit of an advantage. Suspension rules. I need that. Oh, not clipped yet. Oh. oh, did we mention there's poison elk all over the place? All right, we're switching bikes, refueling, and giving each other some moral support. What is that? <laughs> it's my total dork move. My saddle height, not to not. Yeah, a little high. That's brilliant. All right, we flipped it out. I'm on the 09 Santa Cruz Tallboy, 100 millimeters of travel in the front, and how much is in the rear? 100. 100 in the rear. This guy's got a steep head tube. Doug is on the 2020 Tall Can. I feel like I'm on a barge. <laughs> this is amazing. Switching bikes really abruptly is not as easy as you would think. No, it's kind of tweaking me out, but I'll get used to it. The train. 
My first reaction to this 09 tall boy is that it actually feels very similar with that kind of upright tall can feel. Stay tuned. Shout out the Pros Closet for sponsoring this week's video, the world's largest online retailer of pre-owned bikes. And the videos, have you seen the videos? They make videos on YouTube, they're amazing. So much amazing, I'm just saying. You must remember this. This bike feels much zippier due to the tighter head tube, which is good for climbing. The 09 came in at 26 pounds and the 2020 came in at 31 pounds. Kiss is but a kiss now. The other thing that this 09 has that the 20 doesn't is a triple in the front with nine in the back. How sophisticated. Look, I can see Doug's heart rate. He's at 125 right now. You're doing pretty good, Doug. This totally has like a Troy Lee vibe. Look at Doug go on that thing. Holy cow. Yeah, that uh that chunder bumpy section, even though this bike is five pounds heavier, it floats. It like it felt like it accelerated through that shit rather than just kind of having to pick your way through with the with the front wheel tilted up, you know? I was more weirded out about how it would do climbing, but it's, it's not bad. Not bad. There's gonna be no denying this will be a the better downhill bike. If you feel that thing get a little loose, just do this a lot. And yeah, it'll tighten it, up. it pumps it back up. It pumps basically. it. So your brakes don't work? No, they work. They're We're at the top of the hill. You're telling me this now? No, no, you'll be fine. Slipping and sliding all over the damn place. Definitely don't feel as comfortable on this one. The disadvantage on the descent, 100% is this bike. Isn't that sketchy? Now that I'm on this, this thing is a shit. <laughs> There's Doug back at the van. Oh my God, I'm like shaking. That was so fun. <laughs> Riding a different bike on some technical terrain. Oh man. Let me ask you, what do you think? This bike feels like my capability has gone down actually. <laughs> Buttery, here we go. Uh, I don't know how comfortable I feel on this bike. <laughs> that was fine. Those conditions were loose, over, hard. Okay, I, I think we got to gather our thoughts, and then we're gonna we're gonna explain what we just experienced. Right. Awesome day. Nobody yeah. fell. Nobody you fell. Oh shit. Oh, we were except for Doug. All, except for the uh, guy who brought it up. Perfectly. Bald eagle. Compared to my old tall boy, it has such a steep head angle and the wheelbase is so short that you constantly feel like you're just gonna flip it over. With that new one, I felt that comfort in going down stuff that typically I would like be terrified of. I chalk that up to these bikes give us a lot of confidence because they're so capable. Absolutely. They don't judge the way hardtails do. What did you feel on it? There was a lot of similarities and differences between the two, but the biggest thing, the glaring difference was 09 Tallboy descending was confidence just dwindled down into minimal. If I had to choose, I would definitely pick the 2020 version. Better living through modern innovation. And the ride by the numbers? Eh. That was fun. Almost as much fun as the last time I rode a Trek Super Caliber and gave you my full breakdown. It was so good? Yes, that good.